पंजाब में यानी भारतीय पंजाब में अमृतपाल के ऑपरेशन के हवाले से एक बार फिर खालिस्तान का मुद्दा वर्ल्ड लेवल पे किसी न किसी हद तक सुना जा रहा है क्या आज की सिचुएशन वैसी ही है जैसी एटीज़ में थी या फिर सोशल मीडिया की वजह से ये जो थोड़ी बहुत हम आवाज़ सुन रहे हैं वो है और इसके साथ साथ एक बड़ी इम्पॉर्टेंट बुक जो जीबीएस सिद्धू साहब की है खालिस्तान कॉन्स्परेसी उसको भी हम डिस्कस करेंगे और ये सारी बातचीत हम प्रोफेसर धीरज शर्मा जी के साथ कर रहे हैं जो बहुत समय बाद हमें वक्त दे रहे हैं प्रोफेसर धीरज शर्मा आईआईएम आई रोहतक के डायरेक्टर भी हैं और बहुत ही डायनामिक पर्सनैलिटी होने के साथ साथ इंटेलेक्चुअल डिस्कोर्स में इस वक्त बहुत ही अहम नाम है मैं स्वागत करता हूं रोहतक हरियाणा से प्रोफेसर धीरज शर्मा जी का सर नमस्कार आपकी बातें जब भी हम इन पर्सन या आ, वैसे वर्चुअल लेवल पे सुनते हैं तो हौसला होता है कि रैशनैलिटी को आप इंटेलेक्चुअल डिस्कोर्स के साथ आगे लेके चल रहे हैं सर ये जो अमृतपाल का मामला है जो हमने यहाँ पे कनाडा में बैठ के सुना और कुछ कैनेडियन पॉलिटिशियन भी इसके चक्कर में अपनी सियासत को चमका रहे हैं ये कितना सीरियस है ग्राउंड पे मुझे ऐसा लगता है जी कि आई थिंक इसमें एग्जेजरेशन ज्यादा हैं असलियत थोड़ी कम है दी होल नोशन ऑफ दिस सो कॉल्ड मूवमेंट इज 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 अ नॉन इश्यू एट द प्रेजेंट टाइम द सिख कम्युनिटी इन इंडिया पर्टिकुलरली इज अ वेरी प्रोग्रेसिव कम्युनिटी वेरी ब्रॉड माइंडेड कम्युनिटी they have progressed in various fields as a matter of fact during the covid time they were at the forefront of offering services to anybody and everybody and uh, this notion of uh, khalistan is is uh, is not something that uh, has any uh, buyers in the mainstream dekhiye baat ye hai ki bharat is waqt international stage pe world stage pe thrive kar raha hai और भारत इस वक्त खालिस्तान की बहस से बहुत आगे जा चुका है भारत से दुनिया ये एक्सपेक्ट करती है कि क्या भारत खामोशी से यूक्रेन और रशिया के बीच में कोई मीडिएशन कर सकता है या फिर चाइना की ये ख्वाहिश है कि भारत चाइना रूस ब्लॉक में आए और रूस की भी यही ख्वाहिश है और भारत चाइना को भी टक्कर दे रहा है और कह रहा है कि आप हमारे साथ मैस भी कर सकते तो भारत के इस लेवल का जो इस वक्त सिनेरियो है इसमें सोशल मीडिया पे जब कभी हम देखते हैं कि इंडियन हाई कमीशन के बाहर और यूके में कोई हंगामा होता है सैन फ्रांसिस्को में कोई हंगामा होता है तो ये चीज़ें क्या भारत की इतनी बड़ी तरक्की की राह में कोई रुकावट बनती है यू नो मुझे ऐसा लगता है कि एंटी इंडिया फोर्सेज जो हैं वो हर एक छोटा से छोटा मौका चाहेंगे कि उसे कैपिटलाइज कर मैं पर्सनली उस वक्त यूके में था एक दौरे पे था मैंने खुद इस इवेंट को देखा है रिसेंट जो लंदन में जो इंडियन एम्बेसी के बाहर है वहां कितने लोग थे अ फ्यू हंड्रेड पीपल आई मीन यूके इंजॉयज द प्रेजेंस ऑफ अ वेरी वाइब्रेंट इंडियन कम्युनिटी वेरी वाइब्रेंट इंडियन सिख कम्युनिटी and uh, sikhs are hundreds of thousands of sikhs live there and uh, ye jo chhota sa ek small group uh, i don't know what is the achievement achievement kya hai i mean aaj ke daur mein to aap dekhiye tarah tarah ke log television pe aa jate hain har tarah ke log tv pe aa rahe hain uh, it has become uh, 24 hour news channel actually uh, is not no longer reporting news it has to generate news to fill up the hours which are there there used to be a time when we used to say that everything that happens around the world has to fit the size of a news slot of 1 hour today you know you have 24 hours and you have to fill the news slot so i have seen it myself i don't believe that um, these events need to be uh, 
need to be highlighted, and I think they have been highlighted enough. Um, uh, I, I can tell you with great deal of certainty, I have had interactions with uh, students in Oxford University, in Cambridge University, students of LSE, uh, people in uh, in Imperial College, uh, students in, um, um, in 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 Queen Mary University. I interacted with with various people in various places, and I happen to find that uh, you know although there is a significant anguish in people for various other reasons. But there are really not very many uh, ardent supporters or you know buyers for uh, you know a separate six state. जी ये बिल्कुल बात आपकी हमें ground पे नजर आती है आपने पीछे कहा कि भारत में जो Sikh community है वो बहुत progress कर चुकी है और वैसे भी जब हम इसको compare करें आज की situation को 80s के साथ तब भी honestly कोई बहुत बड़ी majority तो सेपरेटिस्ट व्यूज की हामी नहीं थी लेकिन बहरहाल एक वायलेंट एक प्रोसेस था जिससे भारत गुजरा इवॉल्व हुआ और इस वक्त बहरहाल डिफरेंट सिचुएशन है थोड़ा सा हमें सिनेरियो बताइए प्रोफेसर धीरे साहब कि एटीज की सिचुएशन कैसे डिफरेंट थी आज की सिचुएशन से या आज की सिचुएशन कैसे डिफरेंट है एटीज की सिचुएशन से देखिए ऐसा है कि अगर आप इसके जेनेसिस पे जाएं आज जो जिसे कहते हैं ना कि यू हैव टू क्रिएट वी आर टुडे इन द बिजनेस ऑफ क्रिएटिंग हिस्टोरिकल रिकॉर्ड्स अगर आज आप पढ़ना शुरू कर देंगे तो लोग कहेंगे कि द जेनेसिस ऑफ द सेपरेट स्टेट और सेपरेट नेशन फॉर द सिक्स हैड इट्स रूट्स इन 1940s और आपको ऐसे भी मिल जाएंगे दो चार लोग कहने वाले और इसके साइटेशन भी मिल जाएंगे एक दो स्पूरियस बट द एक्चुअल यू नो मूवमेंट सो कॉल्ड स्टार्टेड ओनली इन दी इन दी सेवेंटीज ओइंग टू सर्टेन डिसग्रंटल्ड पॉलिटिशियंस फ्रॉम इंडिया मूविंग टू यूके एंड फाइंडिंग बिकॉज दे वर पॉलिटिशियंस हैविंग लॉस्ट इलेक्शंस इन इंडिया फाउंड रूट्स देयर एंड वर एबल टू गैल्वनाइज पीपल देयर because of the emotions that those people had connecting connected with india ye 1970s ki baat hai and you know the people that i am talking about and they had developed deep linkages with with pakistan pakistan had freshly come out of the severance of its uh, very important territory which is bangladesh today and they really wanted to exact revenge from india and they found uh, individuals who were disgruntled and were in london and they were invited it is a part of historical record and mr siddu's book also talks about it that they were invited to pakistan they were given financial support they were given uh, enough resources for them to go around uh, the world and talk about uh, khalistan and how uh, the khalistan uh, state was needed now let me remind you we are talking of 70s when punjab was one of the most prosperous states in india owing to green revolution and the white revolution coming to punjab from gujarat uh, industrially industrially as well pakistan india you know the, the state of punjab in india was doing very well so technically there were no real reasons for anybody to go and say ke haan ji jaise punjabi mein kehte hain ki saade naal thakka hua hai वो धक्का किसी के साथ नहीं हुआ था वहां पर एट दैट पॉइंट एंड पीपल वुड डूइंग फाइन देयर वाज नो 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 आई वुड से डिफिकल्टीज पीपल फ्रॉम बिहार पीपल फ्रॉम ईस्टर्न यूपी पीपल फ्रॉम बंगाल उड़ीसा वुड कम टू वर्क इन पंजाब बिकॉज़ द वेजेस वर वेरी वेरी हाई फॉर द फार्म वर्कर्स सो बट दीस पीपल हु वर डिसग्रंटल्ड एंड दे फाउंड शेल्टर इन 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 लंदन एंड पॉलिटिकल असाइलम्स इन लंदन एंड गॉट सपोर्ट ऑफ पाकिस्तान दीस पर्टिकुलर पॉलिटिशियंस देन वेंट टू यूएस वेयर इन 1970s एन एडवर्टाइजमेंट वाज प्लेस्ड माइंड यू इट वाज नॉट अ न्यूज़पेपर आर्टिकल इट वाज एन एडवर्टाइजमेंट इन द न्यूज़पेपर फॉर खालिस्तान एज अ रिजल्ट ऑफ व्हिच मिलियंस ऑफ डॉलर्स वर कलेक्टेड बाय दीस दीस एक्स पॉलिटिशियंस and the millions of dollars in the name of khalistan were uh, you know again 
there are historical records available of how that money has been appropriated misappropriated it is all there but they got the money and they got the support of pakistan and pakistan it is known that then uh, started to provide direct and indirect support to this movement and at that point in time the situation had become really um, disturbing and uh, unfortunately it was allowed by then government to fester a little bit longer than it should have and uh, bindranwala at that point in time had become a had become a, a, a cult and there was a great deal of following and uh, people at that point in time did not have uh, video cameras and social media and you know cellular phones these were all legends and folklores uh, i having lived in punjab during that time there were legends that his hands are longer than his knees and you know that he was immortal these were all legends and folklores were there and there was a following because at the end of the day we were rural society in punjab at that point in time and there was considerable following let me let me apprise you this is contrary to what is today uh, the situation was so grave that uh, there was a, a dig of punjab police who was shot dead within the premises um, of the precincts of uh, you know uh, harmandar sahib golden temple and the body could not be picked up it was uh, hours before intervention from the highest level in the state was made and the body was recovered this was a serving dig the situation was very grave there were uh, hit lists which used to get published in the two leading newspapers uh, ajit and jagbani at that point in time uh, you know the newspaper uh, punjab kesari which used to write scathing articles uh, the editor of uh, punjab kesari uh, lala jagat narayan was shot at in broad daylight i mean so this was a very very difficult scenario but then came operation blue star and operation blue star really Uh, hurt the sentiments of the sick population because there were civilians inside there were people inside an army was called in an army operates in a particular manner they they have their own ethos and they were given a go ahead by the dispensation of that point in time uh, but this was a sentimental blow to the sick community uh, it is a unfortunate and most unfortunate thing to have happened but it did happen and uh, the situation was grave i don't know i can't comment i'm not an expert to comment on the real um, uh, way in which the operation was carried out but it was carried out and it resulted in a uh, death of hundreds of people but there were hundreds of trained militants and it wasn't so that this was an unprepared uh, you know a group of people inside uh, major general shabek singh again uh, from the indian army who was uh, court martialed uh, by the indian army had gone and joined uh, uh, bindranwala at that point in time and he had uh, spent time there and he was a major general after all so he was able to train the troops inside fortify the positions with latest um, uh, you know armor and latest um, uh, artillery and he had all that was necessary uh, to put up a brave front uh, with him and so it was a it was a very 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 sad episode uh, in in the history of india that this did happen however as an outcome of that uh, uh, mrs indira gandhi uh, was assassinated just uh, i think about 4 or 5 months later and as an outcome of that um, you know almost uh, uh, i don't know the numbers vary anywhere between 3 4000 6 to about 10000 6 were 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 murdered uh by a complete uh, chaotic situation complete breakdown of law and order and there was a systematic uh, manner in which people alleged some of these things happened and uh, this further you know really hurt the sikh community uh, in a very very deep and profound manner and i, I must tell you rightly so because you see um, thousands of sikhs uh, suffered uh the the assassination of uh, shrimati indira indira gandhi and and there was a there was a chaos for a few days and later on when the situation normalized these are these are events uh which do not go away easily so again now it's a concatenation of events now the next event is 
in order to avenge the death of these thousands of uh, Sikhs, uh, now you have uh, militant forces which come into play. Some of them are leftover organizations of the erstwhile, uh, you know, uh, the uh, regime, I would say, or, or erstwhile uh, dispensation. Uh, some of them were, uh, you know, newly formed groups. Uh, the All India Sikh Student Federation uh, also came into play. Babar Khalsa came into play. Numerous other organizations um, became more and more evident. And so Punjab and Punjabis, I must tell you, suffered the most. Uh, I must tell you that uh, this, this time period of 1984 till about 1994, this 10-year period, the biggest sufferer of um, of uh, of all of this chaos was Punjabis, and it's not just the Sikh community; it is the Hindus as well. I can tell you that um, at that point in time, these hitlists used to be all Hindu, uh, you know, administrators, bank workers, and so on and so forth. That you leave Punjab by so and so date, or otherwise you will be dealt with. And not just that; I mean, there are bigger instances like the instance which took place in 1990 in Lalaru, which is close to Chandigarh, just I would say about 30-40 kilometers from Chandigarh, where uh, Hindus were brought out of a bus and, and were, were massacred. I think that number would have been close to 80-90. Unofficial number would be more than 100. A couple of buses were there, so uh, I think uh, the unofficial number is I think about 50-60. Uh, then the second instance was in 1991 when a train uh, you know, going to Dhuri in, in, in Punjab and was stopped near Ludhiana. Uh, it was actually Ludhiana district, but it was away from the Ludhiana railway station, going towards Dhuri, which is about, I think, about 40 odd kilometers from Ludhiana. And the train was stopped. And, uh, you know, the official numbers are about 80, 90, but I think the number would have been. And I must tell you one thing, uh, which again, uh, I'm, a, I'm an eyewitness to, to, to uh, this particular incident. Because uh, we lived in, in Ludhiana and we heard these gunshots and as young kids, we, we all sort of wanted to see what was going on. So we didn't see the actual shooting, but we actually saw the aftermath of it. Where there were bodies lying around. And um, so, in essence, there were atrocities uh, on uh, Hindu Sikhs. And this was a bloody time for the state of Punjab. Economically, Punjab became in ruins. Uh, from law and order standpoint, there was chaos. People today, the youth today, cannot even imagine that how many days of curfew uh, would have been there in Punjab. And uh, double riding on motorcycles, I don't even remember for almost a decade or so, one could not have double riding, a pillion riding on a, on a motorbike. Um, things used to shut down uh, with the sunset. But Punjab and Punjabis have a history of overcoming all of this. This is not the first onslaught on, on, on Punjab and Punjabis. They have a history of overcoming. And I am very proud of the fact that since early 90s till now, which is a period of about 30 years, Punjabis are all over India working hard moving beyond this, this chaos. Forgive and forget has been part of their culture. They have worked hard and they are making their presence felt everywhere in the world. Uh, even today, so much so is the bonding between the Sikhs and, and Hindus. Uh, we recently did a, did a survey uh, just about uh, three years ago, a survey we did, and the marriages between Hindus and Sikhs are, are quite quite common. As a matter of fact, in, in, in urban uh, areas, these marriages uh, are, are so frequent and so common that nobody even, uh, you know, uh, glares at it. It's a common phenomenon. Uh, Hindu temples, uh, will f you will find six in Hindu temples. And I can tell you there would be uh, hardly, according to the survey, you would be surprised at the number. 97% of Hindus have gone to a, a Sikh Gurdwara at least once in their lifetime. So just imagine. So it is a common phenomena for them to visit each other's religious places. And I am I have been calling for this. I think uh, 
Punjab needs to go back to the old tradition where the Hindus used to make the oldest son the Sikh, and that's how you know the numbers of Sikhs increased substantially. Uh, I think this number quadrupled between 1800 and 1900. The reason is is, is this following, and I think we, we probably need to go back to that tradition to, to strengthen ties between two communities. So I must tell you that 30 years from that time, no Amrit Pal or any other person can bring the communities uh, divided. There is absolutely no chance of, you know, casting or putting any wedge between the communities. They're very thick. They are intertwined. And uh, Sikhs have considerable respect for Hindus. Hindus have a lot of respect for Sikhs. And they live together peacefully. And consequently, I can tell you in one sentence that the situation of 1980s and the situation of 2023 has no parallel whatsoever. They are completely different. You said that the situation in uh, 1980s and uh, situation in today's uh, India in 2023 uh, is uh, unparalleled. Absolutely, it is. Lekin, Deera Ji, hum agar dekhe is baat ko, jaise aapne origin ki baat ki, ye movement kaise originate hoti hai, Pakistan ke tootne ke baad, wahan se ek revenge ki ek lehar aai, jisne kuch extremist elements ko, vested in trust rakhne wale elements ko trained kiya. Aapne GBS Sidhu Ji ki book ka zikr kiya, mein ne bhi zikr kiya. Unho ne apni book mein ye baat bhi likhi, ke kis tarah Pakistan ne apna Bangladesh ka jo badla tha, chukane ke liye Khalistan ki taraf rukh moda. Magar us ke saath saath hum ye bhi dekhte hain, ke Indian politics ke andar ki jo internal compulsions thi, wo bhi Siddhu sahab ki book Khalistan Conspiracy mein hai, ke unke mutabik kis tarah Congress ne wahan pe extremist elements ko politically create kiya aur unko phir crush karna tha, ta ke apne aap ko politically popular kiya jaye. Lekin uske baad cheezein aap ne apni baat cheet mein kaha ke cheezein phir badalti gai. Aur chain of sequence mein yuwa ke ye hua hai, to uske badale mein ye hoga, phir humare idhar Canada mein 1985 mein Air India ka wo khofnaak jo bombing ka wa kya hoa. Us bombing mein jo Air India ko bomb kiya gaya hai. Jo ki idhar us mein dhai so ke kareeb Canadians ki death hoi hai. Indian to us mein sirf 24 te ya 25 te. Nahi, wo Canadian, mostly Canadians of Indian origin te. Haan, but mein wohi kya raho ke aap te. Wo is liye hamari Canada ki sarkar ko fikr nahi hai. Chunke wo Canadians of Indian origin te. Yeah, okay, you know, such a dastly, a dastardly event, dastardly mm -hmm. event has yeah. been forgotten. Right, right. Uh, I think, you know, those innocent people, unho ne kisi ka kya kusur kiya tha. Yeah, yeah. Aap yeh dekhiye ki yeh itni important cheeze hain, aur bina Punjab ki yeh khasiyat hai ji, mein Punjabi hoon. Ji, ji, mein bhi Punjabi hoon ji. Punjab ki yeh khasiyat hai, jab Punjab mein aap, you can start a movement, you cannot control a movement. Right. So KBS Sidhu sahab yehi kehte hain, ke isko ek chabi di gai thi, but ho control nahi ho pai. Ye thodi fitrat hai Punjab ki, ke aap wahan pe movement start, movement ko ek saath aap Punjab ki, aap dekhi historically dekhi hai na, see if you see the history of the Indian, India during the British times. So, pure India mein, ya to jab elections honi shuru hoi, ya Congress party thi, ya Muslim League ke kuch chote chote ilake Muslim League ke the. Ek hi bade subay mein hai, jahan pe na Congress ki sarkar thi, na Muslim League ki sarkar thi, wo da Punjab. Wahan par Unionist government thi. They had communist share at that point in time. Chaudhary Hayat Tewana jo hai, wo chief minister hoa karte the, communist thai wo. So, this is a distinct texture of people. I think we are failing to understand the texture of people of Punjab. People of Punjab have a unique texture which has to be interpreted, which has to be understood to come to a resolution of these problems. Only a Punjabi can understand the texture of people of Punjab and can understand the nuances. What are the real issues? 
रियल इशूज ना तो यू नो खालिस्तान है ना खालिस्तानी स्टेट है रियल इशू आइडेंटिटी इशू है रियल इशू डेरा वाला इशू है रियल इशू अनएम्प्लॉयमेंट का इशू है रियल इशू ये है कि यहां से लोग जा जाकर यूके में और कनाडा में जाते हैं और आप लोगों से पूछे अभी मैं जाके आया हूं और वहां पर जाकर लोगों को जो स्ट्रगल करनी पड़ रही है और देन दे बिकम फर्दर डिस्क्रंटल रियल इशूज वो है पंजाब में जो आई मीन इफ यू टू डिफाइन द स्टेट ऑफ खालिस्तान आप कहा उसकी डेफिनेशन देंगे पंजाब तो ऑलरेडी खुद मुख्तार है देश से अकॉर्डिंग टू यूनाइटेड नेशन सेल्फ डिटर्मिनेशन होना चाहिए भारत की हर स्टेट सेल्फ डिटर्मिनिस्टिक है हमारे यहाँ 1992 से कॉन्स्टिट्यूशनली पंचायती राज है पंचायती राज का मतलब है कि बेसिक स्कीम्स ये वो उनकी डिलीवरी उनका पार्टिसिपेशन पंचायत करती है पंचायत कौन इलेक्ट कर रहा है पंचायत वहां गांव के लोग कर रहे हैं उनकी पंचायत बनती है उस पंचायत में रिजर्वेशन भी है और जेंडर एज वेल एज कास्ट बेड रिजर्वेशन है हर तरह का रिप्रेजेंटेशन है दोज आर दीपल जो ग्रास रूट के ऊपर लगे हुए हैं एंड दे आर द बेस्ट एग्जाम्पल ग्लोबली ऑफ सेल्फ डिटर्मिन गवर्नमेंट हमारे यहाँ तो पंजाब में आप चले जाइए पंजाब का जो एक सरपंच है जो पंजाब का सरपंच है इज अ वेरी पावरफुल पर्सन इज नॉट एन ऑर्डिनरी ऑर्डिनरी पर्सन वो एक लोगों के बिहेस्ट के ऊपर अपना रिप्रेजेंटेशन करता है और बड़ा वसीफरसली रिप्रेजेंटेशन करता है सो वी हैव सेल्फ डिटर्मिनेशन अगेन आई गो बैक टू द बुक ऑफ के बी एस सिद्धू जी के बी एस सिद्धू जी ने एक बड़ा अच्छा पॉइंट ये कहा है वही कि यू नो मूवमेंट तो इनिशिएट uh, कर दी होगी लोगों ने एट द बेस्ट ऑफ यू नो सपोर्ट रिसीव फ्रॉम वेरियस एंगल्स इन साइड आउटसाइड पाकिस्तान की सपोर्ट से मैं पढ़ रहा था अपने नोट्स में कि चौधरी जहूर लाही हुआ करते थे एक जमाने में पाकिस्तान के लीडर थे उनके साथ फोटोग्राफिक एविडेंस इज अवेलेबल ऑफ दी देन सो कॉल्ड खालिस्तानी लीडर्स जिया उल हाक के साथ मिनट्स ऑफ मीटिंग अवेलेबल हैं ऑफ द सो कॉल्ड खालिस्तानी लीडर्स तो उनको सपोर्ट मिल गया और उसके बाद जी जुल्फिकार अली भट्टो के साथ उन्नीस सौ अक्टूबर उन्नीस मैं आपको एक एग्जैक्ट डेट दे रहा हूं कि डिस्कशन हुई है कि वो जाएंगे यूनाइटेड स्टेट्स में जाकर वहां पर डायस्पोरा को वो वो आगे बढ़ाएंगे तो आ, उनको सपोर्ट कहां से मिल रहा है वहां जाने के लिए पाकिस्तान दे रहा था सो यू सी ऑब्वियसली ऐसा नहीं होता है कि यू नो देर इज नो सपोर्ट बट द हार्ट ऑफ द मैटर इज पंजाबी पीपल ऑफ पंजाब हैव अ यूनिक टेक्सचर दे आर वेरी इमोशनल पीपल दे आर वेरी हार्ड वर्किंग एंड यू नो व्हेन पीपल विल 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 फिंगर देम विल ट्वीक देम विल डू दे दे विल कम बैक वेरी स्ट्रांगली एंड माय सबमिशन इज द थ्रू योर चैनल इज दैट पीपल हु आर डीलिंग विद दिस दीस इश्यूज नीड टू डील विद देम अ लिटिल बिट मोर सेंसिटिवली यू नो देयर देयर इज देयर आर वेरियस एलिमेंट्स व्हिच आर व्हिच आर इन्वॉल्वड and people are very 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 emotional uh, at the present time uh, i believe it is a it, the the referendum 2020 which was you know one of the things uh, i think we have not dealt with it and it's my view the day we recognized uh, and brought it on television the membership of referendum 2020 increased by 1000 times there were 20 people once you come on television once you get recognition once you get blacklisted you know it's a common tendency i mean you blacklist a movie more people will 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 watch it uh, so it's the same phenomena so i think the dealing could have been a little bit a uh, little bit different ji main hun punjabi ch kamanga ke tusi jehdi gal kahi ke assi punjabi je reh gaye koi kam shuru to kar dende ha fir rok nahi pa de ke ya sade andar chabi par ditti jandi hai to oh chabi un rukke kis tarah eh across the board punjabiyan ch hai bilkul 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 ਇਹ ਸਿਚੁਏਸ਼ਨ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਹੁਣ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਇਹ ਦੱਸੋ ਮੈਨੂੰ ਇੱਕ ਸਵਾਲ ਦਾ ਜਵਾਬ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਵੀ ਪੰਜਾਬੀ ਚ ਦਿਓ ਫਿਰ ਅਸੀਂ ਬੈਕ ਟੂ ਇੰਗਲਿਸ਼ ਐਂਡ ਮਿੰਗਲਿਸ਼ ਐਂਡ ਹਿੰਦੀ ਆਵਾਂਗੇ ਕਿ ਜਿਹੜੀ ਸਿਚੁਏਸ਼ਨ ਇਸ ਵਕਤ ਅਸੀਂ ਭਾਰਤੀ ਪੰਜਾਬ ਦੇ ਹਵਾਲੇ ਨਾਲ ਸੁਣ ਰਹੇ ਗਏ ਹਾਂ ਉਹ ਜਿਹੜੀ ਚਾਬੀ ਜਿਹੜੀ ਦਿੱਤੀ ਗਈ ਸੀ ਉੱਥੇ ਉਹ ਕਾਫੀ ਹੱਦ ਤੱਕ ਉਹ ਚਾਬੀ ਮੁੱਕ ਗਈ ਹੀ ਹੈ ਤੁਹਾਨੂੰ ਯਾਦ ਹੈ ਨਾ ਉਹ ਬਚਪਨ ਦੇ ਖਲੋਣੇ ਕਿ ਚਾਬੀ ਫਿਰ ਆਪੇ ਹੀ ਮੁੱਕ ਜਾਂਦੀ ਹੈ ਅੱਧੇ ਮਿੰਟ ਬਾਅਦ ਮਿੰਟ ਬਾਅਦ 2 ਮਿੰਟ ਬਾਅਦ ਚਾਬੀ ਮੁੱਕ ਗਈ ਹੈ ਲੇਕਿਨ ਫਿਰ ਕੋ
ਸਾਡੇ ਦੇਸ਼ਾਂ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚੋਂ ਕੋਈ ਕੈਨੇਡਾ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚੋਂ ਕੋਈ ਚੁੱਕੇ ਉਹ ਜਿਹੜੀ ਜਿਹੜੀ ਫੀਲਿੰਗ ਹੈਗੀ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਇਮੋਸ਼ਨਸ ਹੈਗੇ ਨੇ ਉਹ ਵੀ ਟਰੂਲੀ ਮੌਜੂਦ ਹੈਗੇ ਨੇ ਲੋਕਾਂ ਦੇ ਅੰਦਰ ਕਿ ਸਾਡੇ ਨਾਲ ਤਰੋ ਹੋਇਆ ਸਾਡੇ ਬੰਦਿਆਂ ਨਾਲ ਦ ਜੀਨੋਸਾਈਡ ਹੋਇਆ ਉਹ ਵੀ ਇੱਕ ਰਿਐਲਿਟੀ ਤਾਂ ਹੈ ਨਾ ਔਰ ਉਹਨੂੰ ਹੀ ਫਾਇਦਾ ਉਠਾ ਕੇ ਕੋਈ ਕੈਨੇਡਾ ਤੋਂ ਕੋਈ ਪੋਲਿਟੀਸ਼ੀਅਨ ਟਵੀਟ ਕਰ ਦਿੰਦਾ ਹੈ ਔਰ ਅਮਰੀਕਾ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਕੋਈ ਵੀ ਪੰਜੀ ਖਾਲਸਤਾਨੀ ਬਾਰ ਇਕੱਠੇ ਹੋ ਕੇ ਸੈਨ ਫ੍ਰਾਂਸਿਸਕੋ ਤੇ ਹੰਗਾਮਾ ਕਰ ਦਿੰਦੇ ਨੇ ਤੇ ਇਹ ਜਿਹੜੀ ਫੀਲਿੰਗ ਹੈ ਇਹ ਜਿਹੜੀ ਵਿੱਚ ਚਾਬੀਆਂ ਅਸੀਂ ਪਰਦੇ ਰਾਂਗੇ ਜਾਂ ਸਰਕਮਸਟੈਂਸਸ ਚਾਬੀਆਂ ਪਰਦੇ ਰਹਿਣਗੇ ਇਹ ਤੁਹਾਨੂੰ ਕਦੋਂ ਤੱਕ ਲੱਗਦਾ ਕਿ ਚੱਲੇਗਾ ਇਸ ਤਰ੍ਹਾਂ ਦੇਖੋ ਜੀ ਇਹ ਤੇ ਮਾਮਲਾ ਹੁਣੇ ਨਿਬੜ ਜਾਏਗਾ ਦੋ ਚਾਰ ਮਹੀਨਿਆਂ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਹੀ ਇਹਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਜਿਹੜੀ ਇਨਵੋਲਵਮੈਂਟ ਲੋਕਲ ਸਾਡੇ ਪੰਜਾਬ ਦੇ ਲੋਕਾਂ ਦੀ ਉਹ ਨੈਗਲੀਜੀਬਲ ਹੈ ਬਹੁਤ ਹੀ ਥੋੜੀ ਹੈ ਪੰਜਾਬ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਐਦਾਂ ਜੀ ਪੰਜਾਬ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਸਭ ਤੋਂ ਪਹਿਲੇ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਬਾਹਰ ਬੈਠੇ ਕੈਨੇਡਾ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਲੋਕ ਬੈਠੇ ਨੇ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਇਹ ਪਤਾ ਹੋਣਾ ਚਾਹੀਦਾ ਕਿ ਲਾਅ ਐਂਡ ਆਰਡਰ ਇਜ਼ ਅ ਸਟੇਟ ਸਬਜੈਕਟ ਔਰ ਉੱਥੇ ਇਸ ਵਕਤ ਆਮ ਆਦਮੀ ਪਾਰਟੀ ਦੀ ਗਵਰਨਮੈਂਟ ਹੈ ਜਿਹੜੀ ਸੈਂਟਰ ਚ ਨਹੀਂ ਹੈ ਸੈਂਟਰ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਬੀਜੇਪੀ ਦੀ ਗਵਰਨਮੈਂਟ ਹੈ ਹੁਣ ਅਗਰ ਉੱਥੇ ਇੱਕ ਪੁਲਿਸ ਸਟੇਸ਼ਨ ਦੇ ਉੱਪਰ ਹਮਲਾ ਹੋ ਜਾਂਦਾ ਹੈ ਜਾਂ ਉਹਦੇ ਉੱਪਰ ਕੁਝ ਅਟੈਕ ਹੋ ਜਾਂਦਾ ਹੈ ਇਹਦੀ ਰਿਸਪੌਂਸਿਬਿਲਿਟੀ ਲੋਕਲ ਪੁਲਿਸ ਦੀ ਹੁੰਦੀ ਹੈ ਲੋਕਲ ਐਡਮਿਨਿਸਟ੍ਰੇਸ਼ਨ ਦੀ ਹੁੰਦੀ ਹੈ ਤੇ ਉਹਦੇ ਲਈ ਚੀਫ ਮਿਨਿਸਟਰ ਤਬਾਦਲੇ ਕਰ ਦੇਣੇ ਚਾਹੀਦੇ ਨੇ ਪਨਿਸ਼ਮੈਂਟ ਸਸਪੈਂਸ਼ਨਸ ਬਹੁਤ ਸਾਰੀਆਂ ਚੀਜ਼ਾਂ ਹੋ ਸਕਦੀਆਂ ਨੇ ਬੜਾ ਚੀਜ਼ਾਂ ਹੋ ਸਕਦੀਆਂ ਬਟ ਦੈਟ ਇਜ਼ 올 ਵਿਦਨ ਦਾ ਡੋਮੇਨ ਆਫ ਦੀ ਲੋਕਲ ਦੀ ਸਟੇਟ ਗਵਰਨਮੈਂਟ ਨਾਓ uh you know the larger point that you are you are making and that you are alluding to how quickly this will finish i think it is already uh you know losing steam something new is going to come up ipl has started uh, you know people will start watching ipl and uh, i i have been to punjab very recently i have traveled through punjab i don't see anything on the streets there is absolutely nothing shops are open businesses everybody goes to work there is so from a distance it appears you know and it is in the interest of people i must tell you uh, at the expense of sounding presumptuous i think often times uh, you know uh, the politicians abroad in other nations uh, play vote bank politics because it's a very sensitive issue aur dusra maine jehdi tonu pehle gal kahi na punjab de log bade jazbati ne ਕਿਸੇ ਨੂੰ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਜਾ ਕੇ ਨਾ ਚਾਹੇ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਇੱਕ ਹਿੰਦੂ ਪੰਜਾਬੀ ਨੂੰ ਜਾ ਕੇ ਅਗਰ ਕਹੋ ਕਿ ਯਾਰ ਇੱਥੇ ਪੰਜਾਬ ਦੇ ਬੜਾ ਮਾੜਾ ਹੋ ਰਿਹਾ 20 ਡਾਲਰ ਦੇ ਦੇ ਉਹ ਇਮੋਸ਼ਨਲ ਹੋ ਕੇ ਤੁਹਾਨੂੰ 20 ਡਾਲਰ ਫੜਾਈ ਦੇਗਾ ਜੀ देयर इज ਨੋ ਕਹਿੰਦਾ ਮੇਰਾ ਕੀ ਜਾ ਰਿਹਾ ਜੀ ਓਕੇ ਇਟ ਇਸ ਹੈਲਪ ਸਮਬੜੀ ਆ ਓਕੇ ਲੈਟ ਮੀ ਗਿਵ 20 ਡਾਲਰਸ ਐਂਡ ਥਿਸ ਆਈ ਵੁੱਡ ਸੇ ਆਊਟ ਆਫ 100 ਆਈ ਵੁੱਡ ਸੇ ਅਬਾਊਟ 90 ਪੀਪਲ ਫਰਮ ਪੰਜਾਬ ਵੁੱਡ ਹੈਂਡ ਆਊਟ ਨਾਓ ਇਫ ਯੂ ਗੋ ਟੂ ਅ ਟਿਪੀਕਲ ਗੁਰਦੁਆਰਾ in the gt area which is the greater toronto jise uh, greater toronto area bolte hain usme aap gurdware mein chale jaiye to sangat jo hoti hai wo 500 aadmiyon ki sangat to 1000 aadmiyon ki sangat bhi ho jati hai 500 aadmi ikattha ho raha hai 20 dollars is 10000 dollars in in on, on a sunday afternoon so you can collect uh, towards what end towards an emotional end okay, you are all emotional uh, what is the outcome desired from that Ten thousand dollars. Nobody knows. Nobody's nobody's concerned about the outcome. It's like a it's like a it's like a sadka. It is like a charity. It is done. So my uh, submission uh, to the viewers who are watching this in in Canada and and in in the UK or in India, I think you know th- these are this this unbridled. funding it could be dangerous and one has to really view some of these things with with a little bit of more cognition and application of uh, mental faculties ji aaj humne baat thi zyada tar professor dheeraj bhai ki khalistan ki movement ke origin ke hawale se aur agar uske koi nate rishte aaj ke zamane mein bante hain to us hawale se मगर मैंने शुरू में कहा कि भारत बहुत आगे जा चुका है इन इश्यूज से अगर हम इंटरनेशनल सिनेरियो में भारत
تو اگر آج کی ہم بات چیت کنکلوڈ کریں آپ کے ساتھ تو اس بڑے سینیریو میں بھارت آپ کو اور کہاں آگے جاتا نظر آ رہا ہے اگرچہ یہ بات چیت میری خواہش ہوگی کہ اگلے ہفتے میں آپ سے تفصیلی کروں مگر آج ہمیں چھوٹی سی گلمس دیجئے کہ بھارت اس بڑے سینیریو میں اب آگے کہاں جا رہا ہے دیکھیں جی ٹوینٹی کی پریزیڈنسی کے تحت بھارت رشیا یوکرین میں جو سچویشن ہے اس کے اوپر کچھ کامن گراؤنڈ پکڑنے کا کامن گراؤنڈ لانے کا بھی کوشش کرے گا اور یہ مجھے لگتا ہے کہ اس میں بھارت کو سفلتا بھی ملے گا دوسرا مجھے لگتا ہے کہ اکنامکلی اگر آج آپ حالات دیکھ لیں یورپ کے اور ایون یو ایس کے تو مجھے لگتا ہے کہ بھارت ایز اے مارکیٹ بھارت ایز این انوویٹر بھارت ایز اے ٹیکنالوجی اینڈ فارماسیوٹیکل ہب ول پلے اے ویری ویری امپورٹنٹ رول بٹ اگر ایک پوائنٹ پہ اگر آپ مجھ سے کہیں تو میں اس کے اوپر آرٹیکل بھی لکھ رہا ہوں لکھ چکا ہوں وہ آ جائے گا اگلے دو یا تین دن میں بھارت کا اگلا جو قدم ہونا چاہیے وہ ہے کامن ویلتھ کامن ویلتھ میں ففٹی سکس نیشنز آر دیئر اینڈ اٹ ٹریڈیشنلی واز ہیڈڈ بائی دا مونارکی آف یو کے بٹ ریسنٹلی آئی ہیو نوٹس دیٹ آن دا ویب سائٹ ایز ویل ایز ادر فورمس چینجز ہیو بین میڈ اینڈ ان ٹو تھاؤزینڈ ایٹین اٹ واز ڈکلیئر head of commonwealth will now be through the, the the consent and selection by the commonwealth member nations the 56 nations mein mere khayal se agla step jo hai 2024 mein should be commonwealth headed by the indian prime minister and that i believe uh, should be the next step forward uh, for india heading 56 nations commonwealth and creating more synergy between the 56 commonwealth nations and leading them for greater economic development greater development for youth and innovation is sari situation mein hum ek aur bhi bahut badi development dekh rahe hain gudishta 20 saal ke arsa mein humne dekha tha ki bharat western world ke aage jis tarah apparently apne aap ko submit kar leta tha کسی مسئلہ پہ خاموش ہو جاتا تھا بات نہیں کرتا تھا لیکن اب سچویشن ایسی نہیں ہے سو مچ سو امیرکنز رجیم کو بھی چاہے وہ بائیڈن جیسی رجیم جو بھارت کے ساتھ بہت فرینڈلی ہے مگر وہاں سے بھی کوئی ایسی بات بھارت کو محسوس ہو تو بھارت اس کا تکڑا جواب دیتا ہے ابھی یو کے کے جو ہائی کمشنر ہیں بھارت میں ان کو بھی سمن کیا جب یہ ایشو بھارت کی امبیسی کے باہر یو کے میں لنڈن میں ہوا اور پھر کینیڈا کے ساتھ بھی بھارت اب کھل کے آنکھ سے آنکھ ملا کے بات کرتا ہے اور یہ رویہ بھارت کا ایک راس دا بورڈ ہے چائنا ہو ویسٹرن ورلڈ ہو دوستی اپنی جگہ پہ مگر اپنے انٹرسٹ پہ بھارت بہت اب فرملی ایڈریس کرتا ہے ایشوز کو یہ بات ہمیں کینیڈا میں بیٹھ کے نظر آ رہی ہے یا آپ کو بھی نظر آ رہی ہے اگر آپ کو بھی دکھ رہی ہے تو آگے یہ معاملہ کیسے اور ڈٹرمنٹ طریقے سے چلتا نظر آ رہا ہے آپ کو انڈیا از ناؤ دی ففتھ لارجسٹ اکانومی ان دا ورلڈ اٹ از گروئنگ ایٹ اباؤٹ سکس پوائنٹ فائیو پرسینٹ اٹ از لائکلی ٹو ٹچ سیون بٹ ایون وتھ کنزرویٹو نمبرز اٹ ول کم ٹو اراؤنڈ سکس سکس اینڈ اے ہیو پرسینٹ وچ از ریمارکیبل نمبر ٹو وی ہیو ہیومن ریسورسز ان پیرلڈ آف اینی کنٹری ان دا ورلڈ ایٹ نالج ورک فورس ان پیرلڈ دیئر فور اٹ از اونلی opportune for India and time for India to have the best diplomacy. And we are fortunate that our diplomatic efforts have really been very, very strong and forthcoming in the last few years. We have seen that we have forged new relationships. We have strengthened old relationships. And we are now nurturing, uh, you know, those who have, uh, who have not found a way to make relationships, to come into the foray of joining uh, bigger relationships between nations. Uh, India, uh, I believe the way I see it, uh, is not going to uh, be aligned. And these alignments are, are something that uh, uh, India and Indians don't believe in. We are, uh, you know, quite uh, forthright. with the, the way we conduct uh, our business with various uh, nations, the way I can interpret, the way I can read, the way I can see. And I had analyzed some 56 odd tours of Honorable Prime Minister that he had taken 
Uh, I could not analyze all of them, but 56 I had analyzed. And every time they go, they go with an agenda. So I believe that um, uh, it is business, business as usual. Uh, it is not just, uh, you know, uh, posturing. So I think uh, that is a very big difference that we are non-aligned and we are not posturing anymore. And we are taking steps which are in the betterment of our nation. It's very easy to sell out a nation. But it's very difficult to take um, a, a, a position uh, which uh, is uh, is getting, uh, I would say, uh, duress. You know, and every day the the world uh, exacerbates India's duress and India fights it out. We know that you are very busy. You need to stay busy. You are such a big institute. You are running. I have visited you recently. I have visited your institute. And I salute you and your team. That such a big organization, such a big institute, to run is not easy. But still, we have a request from you that you give us some time for some time. And your appearance for us and for our viewers is very important. Tell us about this in the last minute that today's conversation has come to you in the last minute. So please add on that. I think that the Indians in positions of authority and positions of importance and individuals who are thinkers and professors and eminent people, particularly in the Western world, must really look at positives more so than the negatives. I think we are, uh, every nation has got problems and it is good to be critical. We must criticize, but I think uh, we must also at the same time look at um, uh, the work that has been done and we've done a lot of work. Please visit India and see for yourself the progress that we have made in terms of uh, roads, electricity, gas cylinders, immunization, uh, hospitals, uh, and in the corporate world. I can I can assure you that you'd be happy with the progress that India has made. I mean, there are shortcomings, there are uh, developmental needs, uh, but we're still, uh, you know, the pluses are more than the the minuses. I must tell you. So I I reach out I, to all those abroad to please uh, continue to uh, be critical if you wish to, but at the same time recognize the good work done by by India and Indians. आपने एक बात कही थी कि इंडिया बहुत आगे निकल गया है मैं क्लोजिंग सेंटेंस अपनी तरफ से ये बोलना चाहता हूं कि इंडिया बहुत आगे निकल गया इंडियंस भी बहुत आगे निकल रहे हैं इंडियंस आर डूइंग रिमार्केबली वेल रिमार्केबली वेल एज पीपल दे आर वाइज मेच्योर पीपल अनफॉर्चुनेटली द फोर्सेज अगेंस्ट आर नेशन आउटसाइड कंटिन्यू टू हार्प ऑन ओल्ड uh beleaguered dead deadbeat issues and keep breaking them up for no reason uh of benefit to us i think we indians are sharp enough they will discern it and they will move beyond that too bahut bahut shukriya bahut bahut dhanyawad professor dhiraj sharma ji aapke samay ka humne badi important baatein ki views baat cheet sun rahe the professor dhiraj sharma ki i am rotak se rotak se hamare sath baat cheet kar rahe the और आप टैग टीवी के यूट्यूब चैनल को भी सब्सक्राइब कीजिए इसके साथ साथ टैग टीवी के 24/7 स्ट्रीम की एप्स को रॉको एमेजॉन एप्पल और एंड्रॉयड में भी डाउनलोड कीजिए और हमारे न्यूज और व्यूज और एंटरटेनमेंट के शोज वॉच कीजिए 24/7 आज की बातचीत मेरे साथ और प्रोफेसर धीरे शर्मा जी के साथ देखने सुनने का बहुत बहुत शुक्रिया Subscribe Tag TV YouTube channel and press the notification button.